Welcome in everybody to another episode of New World 101. Today, we're going to be going over the trading posts and everything that you will need to know. Welcome to Windsward, uh, which is not Windsward, it's Corinth now. So I don't know what's up with that, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so first of all, in case you don't know, in case you're new to the game, and want to know what the trading post looks like, it's these two scales right here. So when you open your map, you'll see trading post. Uh, it's these two scales, okay? The trading post you want to think of kind of acts as a market, right? Where you get to buy and sell goods. Now, the thing with buying and selling goods, what we're going to go over today is just the overall layout of the trading post. We're going to go over buying things. We're gonna go over selling things. Uh, we're gonna go over kind of what not to sell or what to sell potentially. And finally kind of cover the weapons and armor that's within the marketplace and how do you know if it's worth it or not. So we're gonna go here to the trading post. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice here is all of this craziness. Uh, one thing you're always going to want to have activated is up here in the left hand or it should be right hand corner orders from make sure it's all settlements. Okay, because what this means is you can actually pick and choose where people put in their items from. Now, I'm in Windsward. So if I was to only select Windsward, I would only see the items of people that deposited their resources and their items in the Windsward trading post, okay? So stick with me here. If Windsward is only activated, I would only see the items that are in the Windsward trading post, okay? But if I was to do all settlements, that's literally every item that's in the trading post, no matter what, right? Because all of them are activated. So that way you can make sure that you get the best deal out there, okay? Uh, here, so uh, that's the first thing I want to go over. Uh, then I want to show you buy, sell, and my orders. Obviously, your orders are any orders that you put in that you want to sell, whether it's a uh, armor set, a weapons, a goal, or uh, resources, things like that, right? Uh, first thing I want to go over is buying. Okay. Now, over on the left-hand side here, uh, when you see uh, when you click on the buying tab, uh, you're gonna see the weapons, tools, apparel, check your clothing. Uh, resources, consumables like potions, coatings, things like that, ammunition, and then house furnishings, okay? So things that you can get from your house specifically. Now, the reason why you wanna go through these tabs is that it really helps narrow down your search. Obviously, if you click on this little grid over here, it'll have every item that's possible in the marketplace right so if you're going to buy i mean that's kind of how you want to sift through what you need if you're for example looking for resources and i want to make something i want to make arcana like potions or things like that so i'll look here on the fire oh i could do fire quint quintessence i think that sounds right right uh i can do consumables here i will buy a potion maybe i'm running out of healing potions i'll click on healing potions uh infused healing potion okay uh after you look at the item that you want okay there's a few columns here that you would want to pay attention to uh, obviously the price how much it is uh the tier that you're looking for maybe you don't you can't use tier five potions yet so you want to sort it by tier Maybe you're a new player to the game. You can only use tier one weak potions. That's totally fine. Uh, you can get them right here. Uh, this is uh, for the gear score. Obviously, as a potion, you're not going to use a gear score at all. Uh, then you want to pay attention to your availability over here. If you need to buy five potions, you're not going to want to buy this one. Okay? There's only two. Because what's going to happen is there's going to be a fee with everything that you buy. So you don't want to buy two, accrue a fee, then go here to accrue another fee. Right, you just want to buy them all in one space and I have to nickel and dime yourself with the fees. Okay, I always like to uh, make sure, okay, make sure that your pricing, okay, your pricing is from low to high. I've made the mistake where I made sure my tier is good, but then the price is not good, right? So I want to make sure that I'm on the lowest. See right here, I could buy infused health potions for 400 gold. Let's go. Or I could buy it for 25 cents. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that it's always low to high. So if you need to double click that a couple times, double click that a couple times. Uh, but if you're looking for things, you, you have your search bar right here, just search it. Say I'm looking for silk. Okay. Well, 
Uh, everything, uh, almost everything with the word silk in it will show up here. Uh, infused silk, infused silk hat, infused silk pants, infused silk gloves, robes. Wait a minute, resource. I'm looking for regular silk, not infused silk. Okay, uh, so but you'll see here infused silk right above my camera here. Infused silk. Well, I don't need that. I need regular silk. If you look over here in the crafting materials that would go into infused silk, you would see regular silk right here, it's right behind my camera. And then you'll be able to click on the silk that you need. Okay, so that's just kind of a way to kind of go through the buying of things, just how to buy things, how to sell things. This is tricky, okay? Because there's a few things that do kind of go into selling things, okay? Uh, one thing you're going to look at right here, say if I want to sell a flame core right off the bat, boom, okay? You're going to click on the uh, first sell tab. I'm going to click on the flame core but then it, see, it says right here that there's sell orders, sell, buy, and sell orders, okay? Well, right here, their current buy orders, I could click on this right here. If, th if these pop up, as soon as you click on an item, I could click on this first one right here, and I could sell a flame core outright right now without having to worry about anything for 138 gold. That's not too bad. 138 gold in my server for that, perfect. But what I want to show you, and this is what you want to kind of just play around with with the market, is you go to place sell order of your own. They're going for 150, okay? So this is where you have to make a decision. Now, you could list it for 150, you could list it for 149, undercut them by one gold, right? And they'd probably pick yours first. Uh, and then you see so you'd make what? 11 more potentially over here 142 so after your transaction charge every time you sell something or buy something on market there's tax we all know what tax is it sucks but there's tax on everything so transaction charge so your 150 that you'd be buying it from you're gonna make 142 or selling it for you're gonna make 142 right but if i was to click on it again and i was to sell it here uh quantity one wait Quantity one, boom, okay. Uh, minus the fee, uh, I would be making right away, right off the bat, $131. So like I said, you'd be making a difference of $11 or 11 coin, right? If 11 coin means a lot to you, then go ahead and place sell order, sell it for the market value. You'll see the market value here. Make sure you scroll down just to kind of see where your items lie, okay? As you're selling things, okay? You want to pay attention to a couple things. One, your quantity, how much or how many you're selling, and then the list duration, okay? Your list duration will change based on how long you keep it in the market. Now, if I was to select three days, see my listing fee now goes down to $4, but back to 14 days is $9. I get to play around with a few there, depending on how long you want to keep it in the market, if you think it's going to sell quick or not. But with this, if you put it in for say one day and it doesn't sell, it just goes right back to your inventory in the town that you placed it. So again, I'm in Windsor right now. If I was to put this on the market and in one day, no one buys it, it would go back into my storage unit in my, I don't just lose it. It automatically gets put back into my storage unit. So there's something to think about as well. Um, but I feel like that kind of covers uh, selling. Uh, again, you'll want to look at any sell orders that you have. I click on steel ingot just to show you another one. I could sell it for one coin, with flat out one coin, or it's actually going for four dollar or four four point eight coins, right? Gold coins. You know, I'll, I'll just I'll just call it four dollars and eighty cents. We'll just call it that, so we so we have a little more of an idea. So this would be an idea where I would probably sell it for the market value rather than quick selling it. Why would I quick sell it for a dollar when I can make four times that selling it outright if people are buying, right? So that's something you want to play around with. You want to make sure that ooh ooh here here's another tip and trick if you want to do this. Uh, if you want to go buy, whoa wait what was that? Yeah, I'm going to show you this tips and trick real quick. Uh, steel, oops, steel ingots. Let me show you. Let me show you something here. All right. Oh, there's too many. Never mind. But what I was going to say is, I think that's 10,000. Uh, 
if these are the only ones for steel ingots, you could literally buy up all three of these and then sell them for a hundred dollars because the next highest price is 200 per. You monopolize the steel ingot market. But again, in my server, there's what? This would be 8,000. I don't have the money to do that. <laughs> But you could potentially do that, right? Just buy them all up and then resell them uh, at like $150. A lot cheaper than that. You monopolize the steel ink, the steel ingot uh, thing. But that's probably for another video is how to truly uh, manipulate the market, right? So that's probably for another video. Uh, but that is buying and that is selling. Now the question is, what should you sell or what should you not sell? sell now that's really kind of up to you i am a hoarder i like to always keep a lot of materials of things in my storage unit and i kind of just sell when i have to right but you want to look at the price of what they're going for so if i say silver ingot here no no buy orders for silver ingots sell order for 42 cents i'm not really going to sell them for 42 cents it's going to cost me more in the listing fee than i'm going to make from actually people buying it Right, so I wouldn't want to probably sell that. Uh, let's look at Asmodium. Asmodium is a rare uh, material, right? Uh, it's a metal infused with dark magic. Uh, right now in my server, buy orders are only going for $76, okay? If I was to sell it outright, 82. Asmodium has significantly dropped. Um, but that price would be worth it, right? Especially since there's one, two, three, three, 1200 uh but i as you see here i have 376 so i could sell a couple hundred of them uh for what 8150 right and make a lot of money from that let's see so if i did 150 uh listing fee yep so let's cut that down to seven that's still gonna cost me 300 dollars to list it right but i would make 150 per, uh, 78 times 150 whatever that would be so uh, that's what you, what you want to look at with what to sell or what not to sell. You want to compare the market prices, okay? Some of these, I would just use the buy outright. You know, 375 for star metal ingot and it's selling for 596. Ah, you know, I would probably think about maybe listing it. Uh, but we'll see. It just kind of depends. Let me see if I can find one. Maybe platinum. It's not platinum. 257, 440. You'll find some that are just kind of very, very close. Void metal. Let's see that. That's cheap. Uh, sulfur, maybe. $11. And whoa. See? This is where what to sell and what not to sell. It's going for $70 on the market. But if I was to quick sell it, 11 No. Way bigger markup. Just having people buy it outright. What, rather than the buy order. Okay? So... That's what you want to look at. And if it's something that you never use, sell it, you know? There's a few things that you can make in bulk. That is, this will be for another video too, but there's a few things you can make in bulk really super easy that go all the time. And I'll tell you right now, it may not seem like a lot, okay? But charcoal. Everybody and their sister uses charcoal. Now here's, here's the kicker, right? Here's where it's kind of like a gray area and then you'll get used to it the more and more you kind of play the game, the more and more you understand the mechanics of what people grind, okay? Now, if you're looking right here, oh my gosh, 19 cents? This is this is cheap. How are you gonna make any money doing that? You can make a boatload of charcoal real easy, right? Go out, chop a bunch of trees, go to your smelter and make a bunch of charcoal and just sell it. Everybody is always going to buy charcoal because they're always melting materials down and metals down. And they don't want to go out, spend all that time chopping trees just to make charcoal. When charcoal is fairly cheap, they can just buy it. Especially all the, the big wig players that have a ton of money, they just buy it real quick. Well, it's easy money, right? And it's easy. So it may not be a lot of money, but it's easy to make. So if you want to spend a couple hours just getting charcoal and putting it on the market, that'll be worth it for you. So again, you'll just kind of play around with what you what you notice people doing a lot. And by the way, what money that you have. You're really gonna to want to pay attention to what resources you have and how much they're going for. 
Wire weave? No, probably not. Uh, Azurite chunk? No, that's garbage. Or a calc of arrows? No. Uh, powerful beast coatings? Yeah. So I'm not really finding anything that kind of is great here. Tolviums going for almost nine. Uh, selling for 15. So uh, you just want to kind of play around with it, and it's something you, you'll get used to. Now, last thing I want to go over, weapons and armor. This is a very, very gray area because what you're going to do with weapons and armor, especially now because the game's been out for a couple of years, you're not going to find a lot of gear as you're for a new player. I'll say you're not going to find a lot of gear for a new player. Now, is it in the market? Yes, absolutely. But really until you hit level 60 and until you kind of beat the campaign, the the armor sets and the weapons and everything that you find just playing the game, just doing the storyline is better. It will continually make you better. You don't need to go in and waste your money under level 60 really buying much. Maybe something here and there. But like if you're just progressing through the storyline and doing things, you'll just continually find better pieces of armor, better weapons. Okay? And then you'll be able to really buy stuff once you hit level 60 or once you kind of beat the story and you start doing the in-game grind okay but with that being said things that really go really sell a lot oops are things like this okay oh i said chef hat for example 250 dollars minimum for that and these are the type of things that sell well where it's cooking expertise anything that helps like the weaving expertise, the cooking expertise, the smelting expertise, anything like that, right? Any perk that helps a system in the game, those sell. Keep one for yourself, sell everything that you get after that, everything, okay? Because these people will need these eventually, right? Now, um, we also think about weapons, right? If you go into weapons, Price here, boom. All right. At this stage of all your servers, your servers are going to be pretty much there for a while. You're not really going to have a new server. Uh, yes, you can find lower tier weapons in there, but nobody's buying them because majority of everybody's already 60 anyway, right? So it's not going to go well. Your legendary weapons could, okay? So make sure you Pay attention to the market value for the certain weapons that you have. You want to look at the perks that you have. Legendary weapons usually have three perks. So that's good. You're going to want to pay attention to that. Another thing that's really sell well is what's called the named items. You know they're named because one, it says epic named, but also they glow. You'll see that kind of faint glow around it. I'm pointing on my screen like you guys can't even see it, but right, I can't move my thing. Can I move it? Can I just shift? And nope. Uh, but you'll see here like around hopelessness, epic name, rapier, like at that, that faint glow around it. That's an epic named item, which means as of right now, it has two perks, Corrupted Bane and Rogue. But named items can be leveled up using umbral shards to get to a legendary once it gets to level or once it gets to 600 so you level it up by using umbral shards which is another video we'll get into that later uh you get to that to level 600 that turns into a legendary item and you get three perks you get an extra perk only named items will gain you that third perk okay and these are these would be worth looking into for selling as well uh as of right now the corrupted bane corrupted ward angry earth bane angry earth ward are good however a word of caution in season three the ward and bane system is going away unfortunately so you want to take that with a grain of salt if you're grinding right now and you just need to get rid of the stuff try it uh but the ward and bane system is going away right now or in, in season three excuse me it's going away now right now it's going away in season three so a couple months so I hope that helped you with, uh, with with the trading post. Thank you for the music, by the way, serenading me. I appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that helped you with the trading post, how it operates, what you can do with it, buying and selling items, uh, and then 
what to buy, what to sell, how to sell it, buy orders, all of that. If you have any more comments or questions, please leave. If you have any more questions, excuse me, leave it in the comments below, and I will be able to try to help you out as much as I can. And stay tuned for some more videos, helpful videos, on the New World 101 channel here on the Mr. J. Gilbert channel. I appreciate you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Take care now.